education, talent, and workforce. And I got a PhD in the history of science and technology and studied innovation. Why some innovations take off and why others take longer. Um, short version, great, great cocktail conversation, I'm sure. Uh, but that is a little bit about me and my organization and why I'm to be part of this conversation this afternoon. I want to start by using a stage setting question to get us all thinking about our topic. And the question is, um, to each of the panelists, I would ask each of you to take a moment and share. Uh, generative AI is going to drive incredible benefits for the globe, for this country, uh, for the United States. But at the same time, it has the profound possibility of driving an awful lot of job disruption and a lot of distortion of current social, social characteristics uh, certain economic characteristics. We need to get the balance right. We need to make sure that we have the right balance of driving the benefits of AI, while at the same time uh, lessening or mitigating the worst impacts on individuals and on society overall. So what's your take on that? How can we get the balance right when it comes to the adoption of AI? Great. Thank you for that. So uh, I actually come from the education sector, educational technology specifically, so that's a really good question. So my answer is always going to lean towards education. And the topic of reskilling is timely for this particular subject. This this is not new, right? We've been talking about disrupting the labor workforce with automation technology probably for several decades. This is just the latest evolution of that. So from the perspective of education, it's about teaching our students that are going through the process now and preparing to enter the workforce to uh, a workforce that is yet to be determined, right? To understand what the full impact of AI will be. It is to make sure that our students know how to think, right? It's how to communicate so that they can use the generative AI in their jobs so that they're able to find employment uh, with an uncertain future of what those jobs are going to look like. Several years ago, my son, who was nine at the time, asked me what I thought his job was going to be when he was a grown 